CeeLo Green gets in hot water on Twitter. Chris Tucker has more tax issues. And Kid Cudi passes out. If you're watching The Drop. What's up, everybody? You're watching The Drop. I'm Cynthia Lucia. And I'm Jay Snow. So, rapper CeeLo Green was just sentenced to three years probation for a sexual assault charge stemming from a case in 2012. He sent out a series of tweets discussing his views on rape, even one that included it's only rape if she remembers it. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't say some <laughs> shit, you know? You just don't do it. Yeah, there's just some things that you just can't justify, and I know he's trying to be like, well, you know, there's a thin line and it can get blurry and da da da. No, 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 CeeLo, no. One of his tweets were, if someone passes out, they are not even with you consciously, so with implies consent. No, you know what implies consent? Consent. Or, or consciousness. Consciousness is a good place to start. Right, right. That's a good, you know, that's a good tester ground. It like, was like, if you, see, see, here's the thing. She was sleeping and I said, if you don't wake up, I'm gonna have sex with you. So she didn't wake up and I was like, okay, that's consent. Like, no, <laughs> it's rape. It's bruh. still rape. He should remix five of CeeLo's songs though. That'd be funny. I'm gonna rape you. Boop, boop, boop. You see this Molly in my head. It's, it's going in your drink, uh-huh. Tucker owes the IRS $14 million in taxes. Uh, ah. Just so painful. We were like, well, let's look up Chris Tucker's net worth and see, you know, if he can pay it off. It's negative $11 million. Negative 11.5. I flipped out when I had negative $300 in my checking account and I overdrew it one time. He has to do another rush hour three. Uh, not a rush hour four, it has to be rush hour three again. <laughs> he has to go to the past and get that rush hour you three. You know how much money he made all together off of rush hour? He made almost like $60 million. What do you do with, in seven years with $60 million? He has to have a drug problem or a gambling problem or- We are trying to figure out what's wrong. What's going on, Chris? Go? Mama, stop watching the news. Don't be believing everything you hear on the news. Lastly, Kid Cudi passed out after one of his performances during a music festival in Chicago. Right, he was signing an autograph, handed it off and was just like, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> and just fell back like he yeah. got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> there was like a quick smile. And then he was just like, and I'm done. That was done. the definition of somebody walking around high as f trying to act like it's okay. <laughs> he, was going down. he was like, not everything's normal. This feels nice. Sorry about and then he just passed out. He just passed out. They had to carry him off. It's just not a good look for Kid yeah. Cudi. I thought he was sober. That's why Man on the Moon 2 wasn't that good. I guess he's not sober anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he tried to explain it on Twitter and say that it's because he hadn't eaten all day. And Bro, I go days without eating. <laughs> <laughs> I never pass out. Like, I just get more hungry. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys, now it's time for Ask the Drop. Our first question comes from Bahan B. They said, Ask the Drop, how tall are you, Jay Snow and Cynthia? I'm six foot, even. I thought you were taller. Six one with shoes. Oh, okay. Okay, now we talking. Okay. I'm five, six and a half, but I like to round it up and say five, seven. Next question comes from Chris Waters Jr. And he asks, who would you like to play you in a biopic of your life? Uh, I want to play myself. I don't feel like anybody could be me. You know what I mean? I'd want somebody undiscovered. You know, I'd want to give them a chance. Like, you get an opportunity. I don't know, undiscovered person. I, that's a good answer. It is a good answer. Go ahead, take that, take that. Nobody that I know right now could do me like better than I do me. You know what I'm saying? So. I definitely think we have a lot more to accomplish before we get by. Okay? Right. Yeah, definitely like 40 years down the line. But you know, hey. Our next question comes from Tyler XL. He said, ask the drop, would you rather see how the world started or how it ends? Mm. How it ends. How it ends? Mm. I don't want to see how the world ends. Damn, but how it started is kind of boring. So <laughs> yeah, probably how it ends. <laughs> You're like, it isn't like we're here. No. So. I would want to see how it started. Oh, well, how about this? How about if you see how it started, and then I see how it ended, and then we just tell each other? Right, right. I will see like who actually made it. Like you know what I'm saying? Be like, is, is Jesus black? Is he white? This is what happened. And I'm like, yo, we got ten years. Damn. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> If you have a question you want us to answer, use the hashtag Ask the Drop. Where can they drop it? In the comments below. There we go. Right there somewhere. Mm -hmm. And who do you think is having a worse day? CeeLo, Kid Cudi, or Chris Tucker? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to All Def Digital. I'm Cindy Lucia. And I'm Jay Snow. See you tomorrow on The Drop. You clapped too soon, Kyle. No, I was clapping. I was hyping you up. <laughs>